Hello! I recently read the manifesto on how to be interesting by Holly Bourne and I loved it honestly. It was so amazing and I love the way that she writes a story that you can relate to um, but also how honest it is because it's not like it doesn't show a girl like Holly uh, to be strong and to be like that she can do everything. It shows her weak sides as well without becoming too cheesy or sentimental. So I decided to get one more of her books. This one called Am I Normal Yet? I think it's uh, kind of similar because in um, the manifesto on has been interesting. She deals with some um, troubles uh, mentally uh, and so it's the same thing in this one. Uh, this one is about Evie who um, has been like she's been very controlled by her anxiety uh, and now she's about to get off meds and she's about to go to college and this is like her like the first page says the Carly diary and then it's written over to normality so it's very I think it's it's cool the way it's written I have only read like two pages or something because I wanted to make this before I read it and then make a video after I read it but this is my new project and I'm so excited so I'll keep you guys updated. See ya! Hey, so what you guys just saw was a video I made this summer when I started this book. Um, this is taking me months to read, honestly, because I haven't had the time. And I'm so sorry. And I'm sorry I haven't posted in like five months or something, but... Firstly, I'm overwhelmed by you guys, um, how I suddenly got over 100 subscribers and the Nyko video, how popular it has become, and I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really happy for that. Side note, if you guys want to know how I felt when I realized that I had hit 100 subscribers, watch this. I hit 100 subscribers. Who are you people? Really, I have no idea and I have no idea what to say. I have nothing planned. I'm just... So thank you so much. Um, but I wanted to talk about this book because, oh my god, Holly Bourne, she's a genius. <laughs> Um, so, I read the manifesto on how to be interesting, and I've read this. Um, so, starting from the top, Evie. Evie is a girl that, she's really a well written character. She, she is the mind of a teenage girl. The mind of a troubled teenage girl, but not in like a... Oh yeah, doing drugs and going to parties troubled away, but in a mentally troubled way. And I don't, I know nothing about OCD, which is the um, disorder she has. But I feel like I know now how it feels for someone because it's really well written and it's really, really, it touches you, for sure. So besides that, I think we should talk about Eve's friends. There is every there is characters in this book from. Oh my god, I have a boyfriend, um, he's my everything, too, but I don't need a man in my life. <laughs> so I like how there are different kinds of characters. And then there's the boys in this book, and they're cute. <laughs> um, so, uh, without spoiling too much, Evie goes on a date um, in the first part of the book with the guy who has, spoilers, sex with another girl on their first date. And there's some other guys in this too. Um, there's this guy later in the book called Ollie. And Ollie is a guy who has the same troubles as Evie, but he's just not as far in the process of recovery as she is. And one thing I'm actually really mad about about the book is how I feel like we don't hear enough about Ollie because it's a very girlish book, and if you've told more about Ollie, it could have been a book that guys could read as well. And I think Ollie is an exciting character, but I don't think that um, Holly doesn't use Ollie's full potential. Besides that, feminism. This book is a lot about feminism. Um, I didn't know when I picked it up, and it was it was it is literally a book on feminism, um, <laughs> and that's cool. Like. I think it's great. I love the way that she's found a couple of friends who are really huge feminists and how they, the way they deal with feminism, I think it's genius. 
So, wow. Feminism, friendship, boyfriends, mental illness, college, young adult. I, I love this book. It has everything that I like to read about. One thing I don't like about this book is that it's too, um, too teenage. Can you say that? It's, it's too teenage-y. <laughs> That's not even a word, anyway. But it's too, oh my god, I need a boyfriend. And I think that that is a huge part of the book, that is a huge part of Holly. But I do believe that it has more potential than to be yet another I need to find a boyfriend even though I'm different book. But, but besides that, it's a really, really great way of talking about mental illness. And also talking about the stigma on mental illness. Because, oh my god, there is such a stigma. And it's terrible. And this book portrays the stigma and what it does to someone who has a mental illness. So it's a really great book and I really I recommend it. I generally recommend the things that Holly Bourne has written because she doesn't just write a stereotypical mental ill character, she writes a person. And I think that's something writers often tend to forget when they make a character like that. Write the disorder, not a per not the person. Thank you.